So this is our startup for the first week. Number one says simplify the expression. Always, when we are simplifying expressions, we have our order of operation. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now the P not necessarily is for parentheses, it is for grouping symbols. So we are solving uh, our grouping symbols first, or simplifying our grouping symbols first. We're going to look inside our brackets, and then notice we have to go to our parentheses. So we're going to have 3 times 5, or 15 minus 3 is 12. We're going to keep that inside the parentheses for that exponent's sake, divided by 4. Working inside our brackets, we have exponents next. So that's 3 times 12 squared is 144. Write down the rest of the problem. Multiplication and division will fall next. So we have 3 times 144 divided by 4 is 36. And then we multiply. 3 times 36 gives us 108. So there's our solution for number one. Number two, solve the equation. We want to isolate the variable, undo the operations, and isolate for the W. So that means we need to combine 37 and negative 18. By combining those, we get 19. Bring down the rest of the problem. We have to subtract 19 from both sides. So we have 8w is equal to 48. Divide by 8, w is equal to 6. Next question, number 3. Solving equation uh, in number 3 and number 4, we're solving both of those. Hey. Number three, we're still wanting to isolate the variable. So I'm going to get this term by itself by adding 18. So we have 5p over 7 is equal to a negative 25. In order to solve for p, I'm going to get rid of the 7 on bottom by multiplying. It will cancel here. I have to multiply there. So I am left with 5p equals a negative 25 times 7, which is a negative 175. Solving for p by dividing by 5, p equals a negative 35. Number 4. First thing we need to do is distribute this negative number. here and here. So that gives us a negative 5y minus 9. And when we distribute that negative, all it does is changes those two signs. Now we solve the equation. I'm going to get my variables together, so add y. So that's a negative 4y minus 9 is equal to 1. So I need to add 9 to both sides. So if I add 9 to both sides, I have 1 plus 9, or which gives us 10. So we have negative 4y is equal to 10. What's so now in order to solve for y, divide both sides by negative 4. Now this one will terminate as far as a decimal, but we can just reduce it and leave it as the improper fraction of negative five halves. Number five and number six, we're solving proportions. With number five, when we're solving the proportion, make sure that we cross multiply. So we're going to say two times x is equal to ten times eleven. So we have 2x equals 
110. Now in order to solve for x, we simply divide. So x is equal to 55. Number six will be the same way. We're going to cross multiply. So we're going to say four times that quantity of x minus eight. So four times the quantity x minus eight is equal to five times two. Solve the equation. We have to distribute first. So we have four x minus 32 is equal to 10. We're going to add 32. So we have 4x is equal to 42. In order to solve for x, we must divide by 4. So I'm going to rewrite it up here. 4x equals 42. Divide by 4. x equals we can reduce that as 21 halves. That is our startup for this week.